Hello everyone, I trust you and yours are doing great. It's your brother, your son, your friend, Michael, and also coming your way again today with the word of God to encourage us, to remind us who we are in Christ and who it is to us. Do not forget ever, ever that he is our Lord, meaning owns you and I, and he's our father, he's our king, he's our everything. For me, he's my all-sufficient God, he's my all-sufficient God. So they want to look at the scriptures, um, take our Bibles and open to Genesis 6, verse D, uh, 8. Um, so I read from the NIV, but Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Want to know what happened and then what also got Noah to find favor in the eyes of the Lord. Now, when you read from the four or from the three, you realize that, uh, or even from the six, it says that repented God that he created man. And the reason why God it grieved God that he repent, he, he created man was because uh, evil doers were just bringing up as the numbers increased, they were just happening, harboring evil thoughts in our hearts, in our minds, in our soul. So it grieved God that he had created man and God sought to destroy all that he has created, the, all the living creatures that walked on the, on the surface of the earth and the birds that uh, flew in, uh, in the sky, God wanted to destroy everything. But the Bible says, and it says that the Lord was grieved. And then the eighth said, But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Now, the nine is what we are interested in today. As a child of God, one of the basic things that assesses you to kingdom wealth, kingdom inheritance, for you to have your position in your Lord, in your Father, is favor. So, God found favor in the eyes, or Noah found, sorry, Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And this is the account of it. It says that, the nine, now this is the account of Noah. Noah was a righteous man. Now this is, this is uh, oversimplified, but then I think through Jesus Christ, we can still simplify it that, yes, we have to, as Christians, accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. And believe in him, believe that it was because of us he came to die, as it was our Lord and Mr. Savior, and that places us in right standing before God, it places us in right standing before God, because that is the nature of Christ Jesus, that we, Jesus Christ, will bring us up to our Father in the So, what we ask of God is to trust you in right standing before God, that that is the end of all. It means that we ask. When we call on him, he will hear us when we cry out unto him, he will come to us and listen to us and we can have a personal relationship with him, we can talk to him like uh, you and I are talking now, we can share whatever we have in our hearts and whatever we think in our minds with him and he will be there to and he will be listening to us and giving us the right responses that we need in our lives. So Noah was a righteous man, and secondly, he says that he was blameless among the people of his time. Are you blameless among the people of our time? Am I blameless among the people of our time? Am I walking or using the name of Jesus in vain? Am I walking um, wearing the tag? I'm a Christian, but then my life does not depict who I truly say or who say who I say I am. Do I just profess God on my lips, but in my heart, in my mind, and in my spirit, my soul, I am different from who I say I am. These are the things that, you see, you have to be blameless. Blameless, God sees within and sees in our heart. So it's not just with our lips confessing that it is Jesus. Yes, though, by our lips we confess unto salvation. But then we have to also live as we say we are. Uh, he was blameless and he walked with God. Uh, Walking with God is one of the toughest things. Every child of God, if I, it is so tough that uh, those who those who have married comes close to understanding it. Yes, those who have married, you see, you do not live by yourself. You woke up 
you wake up every morning and you need to consult God until you you hurt him, you cannot move. And when you move, you have to be sure that it is what he wills you to do. It is not as easy as we we have tend to because we have been the message of grace. Uh, we have tend to believe we. We keep on doing the wrong things and we expect that because he's a forgiving father, he will forgive us. Yes, he is going to do that. His sovereignty are not even going to go there to what he will do and what not he will not do. But this is what we know that he is holy. And as his children, we are supposed to be like him. And we can only be like him when we know him through his word. When we know him, and we can only know him when we read his word and we can and accept his spirit in us so that our the inner voice. The audible voice we can hear and know what God wills us to do at every given point in our life. So Abraham, or sorry, Noah found favor because he, Noah, was a righteous man and he was blameless among the people of his time. And then again, the Bible says that he was what? Yes, you got that one. I know you got that one. So God bless you that henceforth. We will walk with the Lord. We will walk with the Lord. We will walk with the Lord. We will learn how to walk with the Lord. And when we have the last of the Holy Spirit will teach us how to walk with Him and in Him. When we have the last of the Holy Spirit will teach us how to walk with Him and in Him. I believe you have been blessed by this message. And if you have, and you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, now the task is for you to walk with Him. Walk with him. Don't go, don't lead him. And don't go behind him. The word of God said that Noah found favor because he walked. And the one that is not said, which is in fact, is that Noah was what? Or we can even take it from the fact that he was blameless. But Noah did not have all evil in his spirit or in his heart. As the man did, as what provoked or what provoked, what grieved God. He did the things that great God. So you sh- we should purpose in our minds and in our life as we journey through this life that we will do anything, anything except to grieve our Father, our Lord, and our Maker. God bless you. It has been your brother, your son, your friend, Michael Alfonso. Talk to you later. Bye for now.